I know Hope has been away uh, <laughs> from the city and was very far from Kampala. But I, I didn't expect <laughs> that it would affect, affect our ability to make rational <laughs> No, actually, one of, the, one of the reasons why I was out is because your demons were attacking <laughs> you. Honestly, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't expect Hope to be this, to suffer for being away from Kampala. Mm. But the reality is, Molly, I mean, it, there's nothing good in the decision. As far as advancing his career, accepting to go from being head coach, head coach to of KCCA, you left when you're leading the table, and now you're going to be assistant at AC Villa. I don't see how that benefits him. And, and for me, what it tells me, Hope, is that because you left KCCA because, and, and, and most people thought that was a, a weakness of personality. You're leading the table, the pressure has piled up, and because you have a disgruntled dressing room, and you have pressure from your bosses, you decide I'm throwing down, throwing away the towel. But he wasn't, but Viper, he wasn't was, being supported by, by the board. What would you he know, have done? Villa have started to lose games. You're smelling the title. Mm. And you know that in football, results have the final say. Go win the trophy and all your critics will be shattered. But because Shafiq and his brigade had organized the black, <laughs> there was that black... Shafiq wrote that story, the one that doomed the man uh, about four months before he was even... Because we were fighting the stand the saying, we don't want this man in charge. Come on. You don't walk away because of that. Mm. You need strength of character to cut it as a coach. And, and maybe, and maybe Molly, Molly has but recognized this. he doesn't have it all. He can, no, but sometimes, he no, it. sometimes, you also need, sometimes you also need you need support, especially when you're going through difficult situations. Support, I mean, you're talking about you what, you're talking about he was, oh, he was on the verge of winning the title. Support comes he from, was when you're a manager, but the board wasn't support supporting him. Support comes on the 30th of the month. When you go to your bank account and mm. there's money, that's all the support you need. If they're no, paying you, no, you can no, have no. your pressure. No. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're Pep Guardiola, you want a few, uh, a couple billion expensive well, you, players. You, you, you want them to send you flowers. Ch Man, Charles, have if you, you're uh, caught, you have to show character. Charles, Which have you ever been a leader? I'm a leader, leader here. Support. Let's start here. No. <laughs> Charles is the head of house somewhere. <laughs> that, and I, I want to no, who, who is the leader here? I wouldn't <laughs> want to speak out. I wouldn't want to speak out a certain weakness here because for me that's one of the worst traits for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shafiq, tell us a little bit about this move for Mori Yekwaso and you know Villa. You're someone who has not never really liked him. Uh, no, 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 He's that, even sweating no, no, the hand. <laughs> he doesn't know uh, where to stand. <laughs> He's licking his uh, lips. No, 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 no. Faith, I think you're misleading. Okay, I'm I misleading. Have no, I have no issue with Apolo Apologies, Kwaso. apologies. He's a good coach, but a coach who doesn't deserve to be... He's a good coach, by the way. Uh, but for me, at, uh, at a starting point, uh, when you go back, if you're more Lebi Kwaso, and you believe you want to uh, probably improve on your career, I remember under Jack... Uh, the five years he spent uh, under Michael Mtebi. When I was talking to Michael, Michael Mtebi, he told me, Molebe Kwasi did not learn anything from him. The five years was, <laughs> was at the club. Oh, that's, uh, that's what Michael Mtebi told me. Actually, he told me, the, of all the coaches who were at KCC, it's only Jackson Magira who learned something from him. But the other coaches did not learn anything from him. So when you tell me he may learn something, when his <laughs> former head coach says he's not like for the five years he was in charge. No, but, but the one who learned from Michael Mtebi has been uh, no, 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 but he led the club to a third <laughs> whereby everyone did not expect them like, to do what they were uh, into the last one. But for me at the starting point, w when Mole left KCC, he claimed there was out of pressure. If you look at the pressure at KCC and pressure at Villa, then I don't know if Mole could, coach, could be at Villa because the pressure at Villa is worse than even the pressure at KCC. So for me, at a bigger picture, maybe he deserves to be an assistant. He's not ready to be a head coach. Yeah, but I tell you, I, I think he has recognized that no, he's he not cut out to be for the that. Assistant because he feels like there are certain aspects of his game that need to develop, like managing pressure, man, the fortitude, all developing young footballers is more. No, 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 developing. Because mm -hmm. if I can tell you, mm. when because KCC gave more an opportunity, looking at how he had probably looked at the under twenty team when they performed, but when he came to KCC, he drove out all the young players and went for foreign based for actually experienced players. So for me, at, at a bigger picture, maybe Villa could have actually retained with Magira as an assistant rather than having Mole, who has so many issue, issues to sort out as a coach. But like I said, I don't decide for Steve Villa. Maybe they knew why they appointed him. Because if you, you were on, on, on paper, Mole may be slightly ex experienced than Jackson Magira, but the kind of achievements Magira achieved, because we all know the success KCC attained under Mike Mtevi, if all the youngsters were groomed by Jackson Magira, this is the same coach in his first season at SC Villa, he has probably uh, given them a chance, though they feel probably to, uh, 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 they feel that last test 
towards the end of the season. But yes, if they gave him more time, maybe it would have been a wonderful coach in the nearby future. It's actually a false perception that uh, Mole Viokwas is, is um, his specialist is in grooming young players. Mm. Like I said, when we're talking about when we were analyzing why he wa he had just thrown in the towel. I remember I talked to someone inside while he was at KCCA, and someone told me, actually, Moebio Kwas is not so fond of young players. That's why in the first place he had to get, get rid of them. So for people talking about that Moebio Kwas wants to groom young <laughs> players and be a, a youth coach, it doesn't make any sense. And, and, I, and, 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 and then that raises questions about Villa, because Villa have a very young squad. And so if they're going to, if the, if the foreign coach is going to depend on him, for opinions about these players, well, and he doesn't trade them. A reality, a, a reality is, to, a, a reality it could be he, it could be his dream. It's something that he has loved to do for a very long time. Maybe for me, oh, uh, he, does, he can't have a young of player. Of course, it's very good at hypotheticals uh, right for me, now. The reality is, is, is the fact that uh, you have a coach who has groomed some of these old young players at AC Villa. He's no longer the same. Then you have an, an assistant, you have a, a head coach who doesn't know any player in Uganda. Then you have an assistant who doesn't believe in young players. Then at AC Villa, you have done nothing, actually. You rather probably stay with Magira, who, an assistant, who knows some of these young players, who has room, you know, but if you have an assistant who does not believe in two young players, then you have done nothing, actually. I think it's, uh, it's very, this, 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 this uh, transfer market is going to speak. We, are, we have just scratched the surface. Mm -hmm. There is so much that is going to happen. And I believe we are going to see more changes in every club, guys. I, so, I, think, I think Vipers will not change. Really, I really, really, I think the temptation is no. now there. If uh, Lawrence <laughs> Molindo, I was thinking maybe I'll risk it with Issa Aridye. This, this move by these two clubs to do this I is think by, probably... By yeah. tomorrow should be knowing. <laughs> uh, the next cause, uh, Issa was supposed to meet the club president today in the evening to decide his, his way forward, just like Issa was supposed to meet the players. Uh, tomorrow, so we'll, we'll, we'll know if we'll be, st we'll be still in charge of the team in the Fingers coming days. Fingers crossed, one black coach stays it's in the other thing that I've learned from, <laughs> from Mirinda is that he doesn't like family. So the fact that KCC and Villa went for foreign coaches, he's likely to stick stick up his nose and, w if, and if, 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 have faith if, in if, Alex's side. If, if you like betting. Mm. Don't go with Hope's advice. Oh my God. <laughs> she don't <laughs> go against what she's saying. So tomorrow expect the announcement of a Brazilian. Anyway, so guys, uh, let's take a short break. Quickly after the break, we shall come in with everything Pep Guardiola, Man City, everything that you saw on the weekend. <laughs>